out and big pop up near first base. Sano almost standing on top of it. Makes the catch one away. Ahmed Rosario, the DH tonight. He is hitting 355 in the month of August. Hot ground ball. Nice stop by Simmons. And a nice scoop at first by Sano. Always thought it has to be tougher, doesn't it? On the first baseman over there trying to scoop out a low throw on the backhand side. Well, Simmons tested two batters in, a fine stop to his left, a low throw dug out by Miguel. Good play all around, Danny. Two outs. Jose Ramirez is now seventh in the American League in extra base hits. Slaps one the other way. That is a fair ball. And that'll kick off the side wall. Jose will roll into second base with a two out double his 24th on the year. And he shot one the opposite way. And the Indians have a two out double. One at second base, no score. And the payoff pitch lined into right field near the line coming in. Kepler slides and makes the catch. With some sod coming off the ground and right, the Twins defense on point in the opening inning tonight. And a run saving play by Kepler and Wright denies Cleveland a first inning scoring chance. Uh, Morgan is making his 11th start on the year. One and five on the road. He's made four starts. This will be start number five. Looking for his first win. Coming off a, a, a tough start for him against Oakland. You know, he had a string of going at least five innings. He only went four, but he didn't have his command in that ball game. He's going to need it tonight. And that's perfectly defensed by Andreas Jimenez, who was in the optimal position to make that play. One down. Swing and a miss. The changeup got him. Two down. Strikeout number one for Eli Morgan. Here's Jorge Polanco. Switch hitter batting left-handed. Here's pitch number 16 from Eli Morgan. Swing and a miss. He finally won the battle. 16 pitches it took to strike out Polanco. Indians and Twins scoreless after one. Ref Snyder batting 308. Couple of homers, 10 RBIs. The pitch and a check swing tapper to the mound. Morgan up with it to home for one. Ramos throw to first. Double play. How about that? Bases loaded. Nobody out. Morgan strikes out Sano and Ref Snyder with a check swing tapper to the mound. And it's a one, two, three inning ending double play. Top of the order now. Miles Straw popped up his first time up. Swung on, banged up the middle, behind second. Knocked down on the backhand by Polanco. Picked up by Simmons and throws the ball in the dugout. Wow. For a moment, you thought maybe a double play. Simmons picked up the backhand at Karam. He kicked the bag at second for the out, but then threw the ball into the dugout. And the one-two, swing and a miss, and down he goes on a fastball up and inside. And that was the pitch. If you go back to Wednesday's game against the White Sox, that location against Andrew Vaughn, he could not lay off that pitch, and he struck out three times. Polanco into the corner. Zimmer cuts it off. Polanco will be held to a single. Nice job by Zimmer and his speed, which was so much of an asset for him in center field. Comes in handy in right field, too. Here's the pitch to Yu Chang, who launches one high and deep to right. This one's way back there, and that ball bangs off the wall. On his way to second is Chang, and he's in with a sliding double to open things up in the fifth inning for the Tribe. With a leadoff double, and he just missed, hitting it out of here the other way. So the leadoff man in scoring position now for Daniel Johnson. Johnson launches one high and deep to right. Forget it. Way on out of here. Home run, Daniel Johnson. And the Indians take the lead 2 0. Oh my, 425 feet the distance as Johnson hits his third home run on the season to give the Indians the lead. Well, I'll tell you what, he was quick to the baseball on that swing on a fastball middle in. Watch how quick the hands are getting through the hitting area. Indians at the corners. Nobody out. Two nothing. Tribe in the sixth. Now the 1 0. Swung on. Hit a ton to deep center field. Back goes Ref Snyder on the track at the wall. Jumps. He made the catch. Tagging and scoring Rosario. Throw to first. Slide. Out at first. Ramirez is doubled up. A sensational grab. 
in center field by Ruff Snyder. Tagging and scoring was Rosario. Ramirez had already gone around second. He had to retrace his steps, hit second, go back to first. Before he could get there, Ref Snyder threw him out. The Twins haven't done much of anything against Morgan. They got a leadoff single from Donaldson. Might have cracked his bat in the process. A couple of walks followed. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on another great changeup. Eli Morgan gets Rooker for the third time via the strikeout. That's eight in the game. And Eli Morgan has now set down eight in a row. Here it comes. Swing and a weak fly ball to right. Carries a little bit, but near the wall to pull it down is Zimmer. Everything's carrying tonight, but you knew as soon as it left the bat that Donaldson didn't get close to getting all of it, but it still carried. And Jorge Polanco, the right guy batting in this spot. Twins are down 3 0, bases loaded, and nobody out. And the first pitch is swinging a ground ball right side, likely two. Clement has it second for one. The return will be late. They only get one as Gordon scores. Kepler to third. Looked to be Taylor May, but Polanco beat the return throw from Jimenez. Here's Josh Donaldson. Boy, was that a big out. Now the 2 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He got him with a hanging curveball. I think that hanger surprised Donaldson. Sometimes you can make a mistake pitch and the hitter is so stunned that he doesn't crush the hanging curveball. So now runners at second and third with two down. Three to one, the Indians leading it. Here's Luis Arise. Swung on a tapper to short. Rosario has it, throws him out. How about that? Arise looked like he swung at ball four. But nonetheless, the Indians got him out. A ground ball out to short. Emmanuel Classe will try to nail it down. Three to one Indians. Bottom of the ninth. Swung on. Fly ball. Right field. Not deep. Zimmers there. Ball game. So the Indians have even the series at a win apiece. With a rubber match coming up tomorrow afternoon at 1:10 Cleveland time.